everybody, it's Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I have a really neat technique to show you using glossy white cardstock. And as a demonstrator, we were super excited to be getting this glossy white cardstock back because there's a gazillion, and I mean gazillion, well, maybe not that many, but there's a lot of great techniques you can use with glossy white cardstock, and it's super hard to find anyplace else. So this is called a spritzer reinker technique, and I can't hardly wait to get started and show you how to do this. So let's do that. The layers that I'm using are um, five by three and three quarters. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some reinkers. I've got Rich Razzleberry and Island Indigo. And I'm going to put my reinker up against my cardstock and just dab little dots of it on there. You don't want to hold your reinker up in the air and squeeze until it drops onto your paper. That's too much ink. So make sure you touch it to your paper and just squeeze maybe, until some ink comes out. So I've got a few dots there. Now I'm bringing in my spritzer. You get two of these in a package for $3, so they're a really good deal. The thing I like about Stampin' Up! spritzers is they spray out a very, very fine mist, and that's what we need most of the time for our techniques. So now I'm just going to spray some water on here, and you see how it just runs. It's just such a fun look. Now, if you happen to get too much water on, you can simply absorb some of it with a tissue, and you're gonna need to set this aside to dry. Now, I haven't used um, glossy white cardstock in a couple years, so I'm a little rusty on all the little tips for it, but one thing I wanna tell you is, I don't think you can dry this with a heat gun. I think. I don't remember for sure, maybe you can, but um, you might want to try that first on a scrap and see. I don't want it to blister up. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I think you can use a heat tool on this. And I know people were trying to um, imitate techniques years ago on photo paper. That you can't hit with a heat gun, that will blister up. But I do believe you can. And um, just to give you a little tip, Photo paper doesn't work for techniques we use on glossy white. It's not the same thing. So isn't that cool? Just a really, really cool background. Okay, I'm gonna try one more color combination. I'm being really brave because I haven't done these two colors together yet. So I've got a little um, dapper denim and I'm just gonna put a few dots of that because it's such a dark color. And then I'm gonna come in with Flirty Flamingo and hit it with a few more dots of that. Here comes our, whoops, got to squirt in the right direction. Here comes our flirty flamingo and our water. And that looks really cool. And again, I'm going to bring a tissue in here because I got quite a bit of water on there. I'm just going to mop up just a little bit of my water. There we go. Another really neat combination. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can you hear my husband? He said, don't jump around. She's making a video. It's kind of cute. Okay, now I'm going to show you some of the other color combinations that I made. Here I've got Rich Razzleberry and Old Olive for a really pretty combination. This is Pumpkin Pie and Daffodil Delight, so that's really subtle. And then we've got Lemon Lime Twist and Island Indigo, which I think is really pretty. And this one is our new In Color Berry Burst and Peekaboo Peach. And I actually have a few of these cards made. And you can see how different each background looks. They're all very different. The other thing that I did with this is usually we center our layer in the middle of our card and for these particular cards I pushed it all up in the right hand corner so that's just a little different. Left me um, a good amount of room here for three wraps of Baker's Twine on each one of these cards too. 
So let me show you which stamp set I'm using. I've got this bundle. This is the Colorful Season stamp set. And then I've got the Seasonal Layers Thin Lids. I have to tell you, I can't wait to play with this a little more. This is the first thing that I've made with it. I love this Adriandac chair. And this stamp set has four different seasons in it. So you've got winter, fall, spring, and summer. And look at the branch. I've seen so many great things with this branch. And then also we've got a scallop um, edgelet die in there too. So lots of great, great um, dies in here. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed my wait what Wednesday tip video. And give this a try. Um, the reinker spritzer technique is really fun and you get a different look every time you do it. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com. I'd be happy to send you the new catalog that just came out June 1st. Also, hop on over to my blog, www.astampabove.com, and um, I will have all the ingredients and color combinations that I use for all these cards in the same place. And also, um, all the products that I use, you can click on any of the products and go right to my Stampin' Up! store where you can place an order. Click down here on the subscribe button so you subscribe to my new YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything. I have two videos that I produce every week that I like to share with my stampers. So add a little sparkle to someone's day and send them a card. Mm -hmm.